Hey, what's up everyone? Mendel here. I hope you're all doing awesome and wonderful. So over here, I got a Harley Benton guitar. So this is the Harley Benton uh, SC Custom 2. And to be honest, I'm uh, surprised and confused because this is a 269 euro guitar and it sounds, feels and plays actually pretty good. We're gonna talk all about it, but let's first start with a good old fashioned metal playthrough by using this guitar. Here we go. All right, so hope you like that metal part. Um, if you do, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, that's and hit the belly thing, that's much appreciated. And now back to the guitar. So let me start with the specs first. I have my notes here. So like I said, this is the SC Custom 2 in vintage black. It's a mahogany body, satin mahogany neck, roasted Jatoba fretboard. I've never heard of roasted Jatoba, but it feels good. White perlate crown fretboard inlays, a modern C-neck profile, ivory color binding, Scale is 24 three quarters, which is the same as like a Gibson or Epiphone Les Paul. 22 medium jumbo frets and two LAF Elnico 5 humbucker pickups. One tone control with push-pull function for coil split, three-way switch, two pneumatic bridge, gold-plated hardware and Grover machine heads. And I'm actually pretty impressed with the Grover machine heads because, uh, or the tuning, uh, tuning heads, because when I go down after tuning up, it's actually pretty smooth, which also a great compliment about the nuts. But to be honest, there were a couple of things that I was not very stoked about. First of all, the frets were very, very, very dirty. So I cleaned them with a thing called uh, Frying for Music Nomad. Links in the description box below if you want to see what's that. That's a lifesaver. I use it on all my guitars. Just rub it on the frets. That's what she said. And it becomes uh, like mirrors. Amazing stuff. As you can probably see now, I added some pictures or some some close-up shots where you can clearly see the difference. So um, as you can see, the frets were pretty dirty when I got out of the box, but clean them up, they're nice and shiny, which is the way I like it. One other thing, the uh, nut on the top looks a tiny bit iffy. It looked like the glue or it didn't fully set in. But then again, this is a 269 euro guitar. Like that, that's, that's still can grasp my mind around it. And the last thing, I wasn't a fan of the strings. I believe they were the Dario's. After cleaning the fretboard and the frets, I put Elixir strings on them and I fell right back at home. Clarity is a uh, instant clarity. So as you hopefully agree, as you heard in the demo, um, this guitar just sounds, sounds really good, especially for the money. <laughs> I mean, I, to be honest, when I started out uh, back in 2000, 2001 playing guitar, there was no way you could, get, you could like get a guitar of like below 300 euros and have these specs, like I mean, Grover Tunis, seriously, but have these specs and have a guitar sound and feel this good. At least that's my experience. Like I have my, my Adoles Paul here which I got around 2004, and that one was around 900 euros. I do have to say, but it could also be biased that it feels a tiny bit better than this guitar, but that's like a 500 euro price difference. So um, I definitely think we live in a golden age of guitars. I mean, if you're starting out playing, 
doing the dishes in a restaurant or like working at the supermarket or something, do that for a month and you can buy one of these. I mean, how cool is that these days, right? But yeah, sounds great. <laughs> And it feels great. So let's go to a clean patch. So I have like a Lone Star patch over here uh, from Lone Star Special. And this is just the bridge pickup. Neck pickup. A bit woolly for my taste. And the coil tap. And the bridge pickup on the call tab. Right. So uh, let's go to a lead patch, play some more on the upper register of the guitar. So this is a Mark V uh, profile. I'm going back to the like turning off the call tab so it's full of home worker mode. Let's see how it sounds. I mean, how cool is that? Stunning. Just really, really good. Properly. Now also one thing that was a pretty like pretty positive about and I keep keep turning keep turning the wrong knob for volume. But the guitar was intonated perfectly, like seriously. So that's a 12 harmonic. Spot on. And how many times have you had that? Perhaps more than me, I don't know. But for me, my experience, most of the time when I get a new guitar, it plays well, but the intonation isn't like spot on. So you have to do some tweaking here. But on this, again, less than 300 euro guitar, they intonated it perfectly um, from the shop or from, from the factory. And that means, because there's, there's one thing, you could intonate your guitar like this, like having on the desk, intonate it. But then when you play it, the intonation could be a tiny bit off because normally, because of the, I don't know, the weight going down on the neck when you have it like flat instead of having it like this and perhaps you're bending a bit the neck a bit forward like this it's um, so they really paid attention to that and that's something i didn't didn't expect at all by the way if you want me to show you a video how to properly set up a guitar like clean it up and intonate it please let me know in the comments i'd be happy to make a video and teach you guys that 
but to round it up uh, I'm just just impressed like again like I said before when when I started out guitars weren't of this quality and this is I don't know how to do it I don't know like how they get all these I would say upper mid-range specs on a guitar and then sell it for I mean, like I said it's a it's a kid salary who works at a at a restaurant doing the dishes for a month or something insane very impressed so make sure you check it out I'll put some links in the description box below so you can check it and check or the different guitars they make but as a first impression of this guitar um, for the money it's I'm blown away very very impressed okay so from a mixing engineer point of view um, let's quickly check it in the mix so this is the demo song you heard at the beginning of the video um, I have the guitars here on solo um, I just did some mixing here but I'm not sure if I would be able to tell if this was like a cheap guitar to be honest so here are the guitars by themselves <laughs> So very impressed. So let's check in the mix again. So here we go, just from the start. If some band would, if they play really well and they would use this guitar, I could I could use it in the mix. I could mix a record with this. Very, um, very impressed. Yep, very impressed. All right, so that's it. I hope you liked this video. Please let me know in the comments what you thought of this guitar. Does it sound great? Does it sound very cheap? Does it sound bad? Just be honest, just let me know in the comments we can talk about it. I'm like, actually very curious what you guys think about this guitar. Um, if you like this video, uh, please subscribe, that really helps me out. Give me a thumbs up, uh, hit the belly thing to be notified for the, for the new videos. Um, I have some affiliate links in the description box below for uh, this guitar or plugins that I use for mixing, including this one, which is my favorite SSL, EQ, the SSL EV2, which I have here on the guitars. We're doing a great deal actually, just let's run it up, but this is without it. And I'll do it on. Love that thing. Links in the description box below. Hope you like this video, so uh, see you next time. Cheers.